it's funny actually the other night I um, also talked about what living room was about and then I wrote about it on the internet and people were also very upset and then they yelled at each other in the comments for being upset um, which upsets me these days we just are like should we turn comments off? I feel as a society maybe we don't need to know what every single one of us thinks all the time um, you know what I mean? like I don't write comments yeah my mom is here tonight. Big shout out to my mom. Sarah's mom is also here. Big shout out to her. Um, but, you know, last weekend we were on the Junos and, um, yeah. And my, mom, my mom was telling us about all the rude things people said in the comment section. And I was like, Mom, stop looking at the comments. Because only lunatics write comments, seriously. I'm sorry if you're one, but that's fine. Own it, that's fine, but, I mean, not positive things, but like, if you write something rude under a stranger's photo, like, holy shit, get a life. You know what I mean? Like, you have so many options. Why? Like, my God, here's my nightmare. Here's my nightmare. I finally get to the, I get pushed to the edge by a new fucking, Sean Mendez song, so I write in the comment section, really? What the fuck, dude? We want more stitches. I'm disappointed in you, unfollow. This is my nightmare, with that. But then, I'm like, close computer, walk outside, bus hits me. That's the last thing that I do on earth. So, so the last thing you did, well, first of all, why did that, why is Shawn Mendes tonight? Do you have <laughs> something that you want to say to him? No, I just was thinking about him. I do love stitches. I love him. I love stitches. <laughs> yes, it starts, but what I'm getting at here is a lesson for all the young children I just traumatized, which is, you have absolutely no idea what's going to happen next. Don't let the thing that you potentially did last be so negative. The life is so short, it goes by so fast. It makes you feel so good to do good things. It makes you feel so good to be nice. It's just so much easier. And for me, for me, I am not upset by the comments because to me to write something mean or rude is like, that must be how you feel inside, like about yourself, you know? like. We make people feel the way we feel. So if you feel great about yourself, you're gonna put good things into the world. If you don't feel good about yourself, you probably, most of us will keep it to ourselves, but some of you <laughs> will go in the comment section. And to those people, I do actually feel a lot of compassion, you know? I, I hate when, when people go after each other in the comments, especially in protection of us. It's like, don't, don't worry about it. We don't actually care. But. Um, <laughs> But I did care for a long time, and our friends and family care, and so it's this weird battle that we have, and, um, you know, where it's like, I don't want to be tone deaf, and I don't want to not participate in this part of culture, but I also want to make sure that we continue to participate in putting good things into the world, that our legacy as a band, but also as human beings, was being kind and creating spaces where people felt like they belonged, and um, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, but um, <laughs> sorry goes off stage and quickly erases all those horrible Yelp comments. About <laughs> the fucking ding dong who sold her refrigerator and then <laughs> three weeks and then inexplicably just didn't he didn't follow up and then it went to the warehouse and I actually booked a delivery and then it <laughs> and actually reached out to the third party contractor like he told me he was going to and, and, and I was actually online with this call service people. And, and, they were like, I can't do anything, he has to do it. And I was like, but it clearly says he only works Wednesdays and Thursdays, and he lives on Monday. Can you see how frustrating that is? Anyways. That does sound frustrating. And you can express that, but like, you know, me just putting a photo up of me with my dog, like, I don't know, I'm like, what did I do to you? Anyway. What's that now?
I will tell George and I thank you so much. That's my dog. Yep. It's very positive. And it was very sweet. I was terrified. I was like, don't engage because they're probably yelling at you for something you did. So I'm like, no, it's not this audience. I will quit while I'm ahead. But, uh, Let's test her, actually. Someone say something horrible to no, her. No, no, no. Let's just see if she can resist in real time from engaging. What's on now? That's my tape recorder. Oh. <laughs> well, here's the thing. When someone's mean to me in person, I potentially would engage. Um, I'm talking about the comment section, and I'm talking about, you know, you know, everyone understood. We don't have to slip and slide. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're going to play these last two songs uh, from the album, If It Was You. But before we do, I do want to just say one last time how grateful um, I am that y'all showed up. And uh, what a delight this tour has been and how committed I am to removing the word delight from my uh, <laughs> regular uh, vocabulary because it comes out all the time, makes me feel ancient. But, um, <laughs> but it has been delightful to be with you and um, revisit these songs. And uh, not one second, well, probably one second, but not a lot of time passes um, in a day where I don't take a minute to feel incredible gratitude that we are making music 25 years later, that this has been our job, that we get to travel around the world and bring people together and perform. So thank you for showing up for us. It really does make sense.